Welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Harshan Mahal. This video is the fourth part of the top IoT cloud platform series. In this video, we'll discuss the fourth cloud platform that is Thingsbowl and its features. If you're not familiar with Thingsbowl, it is a powerful platform that can help you build and manage your IoT applications. In this video, we'll be discussing uh, some of the topics that are uh, how it, uh, Thingsbowl and how it works and why it's such a valuable tool for developers. In the previous video, we have discussed ThingSpeak and its features. If you haven't watched it yet, then click on the top right corner of this video to watch it. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking and hitting the subscribe button. Let's get into the today's topic, that is ThingSpeak. Let's get into the presentation. So what is ThingsBoard? So ThingsBoard is an open source IoT platform that allows you to connect devices, collect data, and analyze the data in real time. It offers features like device management, data visualization, analytics, and integrations with other services. It is designed to be highly scalable with support for millions of devices and data points, making it ideal for large scale IoT applications. It supports both uh, cloud and on-premises deployments. So let's get into the features. So in the features, we have many features that are listed down. So we'll go through some of the important features. The first one is telemetry data collection. It collects and stores telemetry data in a reliable way. Next one is a multi-tenancy. It supports multi-tenant installation out of box. Next, the data visualization, it provides 30 plus configurable widgets out of the box and ability to create your own widgets using built-in editor. And we have horizontal scalability and IoT rules engine. So it can process incoming data with flexible rule chains based on entity attributes or message content. It has fault tolerance. So fault tolerance uh, where uh, all the things both servers are identical, no work, master work, workers, or hot standby. So these are uh, some of the things that we ca that comes under fault tolerance and uh, device management. So it has the it provides ability to register and manage devices, and we can also control the devices using RPC. So these are the remote procedure calls, and it also supports different transport encryptions. Uh, so it provides security in the form of device authentication as well as uh, credentials management. And it also has the asset management to register and manage the assets. We have the customization and integrations. Uh, and then we have alarm management. It provides ability to create and manage alarms related to your entities, devices, assets, customers, etc. So it's 100% open source. So it is licensed under Apache License 2.0. So you can use it and uh, use it for creating commercial products for free. So it supports microservices or monolithic deployments. And it has SQL, NoSQL, and hybrid database. We can choose any of them. So that's how uh, many features it has, and it's very vast. So how does the ThingsBoard work? At its core, ThingsBoard is made up of two main components, the ThingsBoard server and the ThingsBoard client. The ThingsBoard server is responsible for collecting the data from the devices, storing the data, and processing it. The client is the user interface that allows you to interact with the platform, view data, and manage your devices. It supports a wide range of devices and protocols, including MQTT, HTTP, COA. This makes it easy to connect a variety of different devices to a platform, regardless of what protocol they use. Then uh, we talk about the ThingsBoard architecture. So in the ThingsBoard architecture, so we can look into uh, different devices on the left, and we have gateway in the middle. So devices can communicate with the gateway via Modbus, OPC UA, and other protocols which are not IP related, which doesn't send directly to the internet. Then we use gateways. So that it can use the data, uh, the internet capability to send to the cloud. So some of the devices which already has the capability to send uh, the data, IP-enabled devices, 
then those can be directly sent to the things board transports. So here in the things board transports, you can see the various protocols that it supports. So once that uh, data is reached there, it goes to the queues. There, there are two queues represented here. And one queue you can look into is the things board core. And we have one more queue to the rules engine. And basically, these things board core will send to the external systems or the things board UI that it has. And also, we have this rules engine that can send to the database or external system. Those are kind of different kind of routing rules that we have. Next topic is why is it valuable? So why things board is valuable? Uh, because uh, for the starters, it's open source, which means it's free to use and modify. This makes it an affordable option for companies and individuals looking to build IoT solutions. Additionally, ThingsBoard is highly customizable with support for custom widgets, plugins, and APIs. This means you can tailor the platform to meet your specific needs, whether that's creating a custom dashboard or integrating with other systems. ThingsBoard combines scalability, fault tolerance, and performance, so you'll never lose your data. So there you have it, an introduction to Things Board, an open source IoT platform. We hope this video helped you understand what Things Board is and how it works. As you have watched until the end of our video, this video definitely deserves a like, share and subscribe. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating videos like this. In the upcoming video, we'll discuss uh, the topics and skills measured in the AZ220 Azure IoT Developer Certification. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.